to four, six to five on Mulligan now. Even Squire Silk, 20s and 25, Blair Castle and Flying Instructor. You can lose a lot of ground through sloppy jumping down here. And Mulligan's jumping has been as good as ever so far. The first of this fences, then Mulligan landed in front from Flying Instructor upsides now though on landing. Blair Castle and Squire Silk. The next an open ditch and Flying Instructor this time hit it and Mulligan fractionally in front from Flying Instructor, then Blair Castle and Squire Silk over another. Good jump again by the leader, Mulligan. Flying Instructor's jumping has just gone to pieces slightly down this line of fences. Squire Silk's going pretty well, isn't he, on the right-hand side of picture at the next? And jump that OK. Blair Castle slightly down on his nose there. They approach the last in the back straight then, and Mulligan lands with about a length advantage from Flying Instructor. Squire Silk now being squeezed along in third, being asked to improve Proved by Paul Carberry and Blair Castle just dropping off the back of them as they race for the final turn and Mulligan has dictated this under three furlongs left to cover and two fences still to be jumped and Mulligan dictating the pace Squire Silk now in hot pursuit goes second flying instructor the outside and finally Blair Castle here's the second last coming up then Mulligan draws to it lands about a length in front from Squire Silk who's trying to lay down a strong challenge down the outside but Mulligan appears to be travelling strongly the final fence comes Coming up, can Mulligan put in another good jump? He does. Squire Silk over to the left in second place, and those early mistakes are now taking their toll as Mulligan kicks right away on the flat, and Cheltenham is next stop for Mulligan and the Arkell Trophy. It's Mulligan who maintains his unbeaten record over fences. Adrian waves to the ground, and they respond. Second, Squire Silk, third flying instructor, and then third in back in fourth was Blair Castle. Well, another highly impressive, polished display of jumping from Mulligan. Surely the most exciting two-mile novice chaser of the season. He extends his winning run over fences to five and surely will now be one of the favourites for that Arkell Trophy at the Cheltenham Festival. Possibly not too much as he was the six to five on favourite, but David Nicholson told us on the morning line that he was quietly confident. And of course, that was John Franken's charity bet. So well done to all of them. Second, number four, Squire Silk, even money. And third, number three, Flying Instructor, 25 to one.